What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This video is going to be all about the top Amazon mods for the Bronco that you guys should probably get as soon as you take delivery of your Bronco. There were 100,000 of us all waiting on our Broncos. I finally got mine after about a year and a half and it is so worth the wait. So let me just say that first. If you guys are still waiting on your Bronco that you ordered, wait for it because it is 100% worth it. Today's video is gonna be about all of the first mods that you guys should probably end up getting at some point probably as soon as possible when you pick up your Bronco. So I wanna hop into those, kinda of talk about them, give you guys my review on them because I have had the vehicle now for 1500 miles and I have had these Amazon mods pretty much since I got the vehicle. I'm one of those people that as soon as this thing was shipped on the Ford website, I started buying stuff on Amazon for it because I knew I needed it as soon as possible. I wanted to keep this thing as nice as possible. I know it's gonna be off-road, I'm gonna get it muddy and dirty and all that in time but at least wanted to get like the protective stuff in now before I start messing things up and have to replace it. Also, the lift just shipped out, so that's gonna be coming soon. I have to order my tires. You guys already know I have my wheels set. This thing's gonna be absolutely massive here in just a few weeks as I get everything in and I can start installing it. Before I start sharing some of the parts and stuff from Amazon, I do wanna disclose I am an Amazon associate, so I get a small percentage if you guys do buy these things through Amazon using my links. So that's my disclaimer right there, but I did buy all these with my own money, so. I am actually using these things. Starting from the front, we have the most noticeable thing because I have it the same color as the vehicle, which a lot of people are doing this. If you have a red one, they get red. If you have a yellow one, they get yellow. But the first thing are gonna be these shackles. Now this is because I have the modular bumpers, so it's like shackle ready from the start. But I got the white ones and it's just they're how I got them for 30 bucks on Amazon. But the thing I really liked about it was it has this locking pin and it also has some shims in here so that way it's it's tighter on there, right? So it's not all loosey-goosey. So you can start to stack the rubber shims and get it as tight as you'd like, but I do like that it had the locking pin on there. This is gonna be helpful in the event that I, someone else has to kind of pull me out. Maybe like my buddy Sabir, maybe I got a little stupid, put this in a, a situation it shouldn't be in and I don't have a winch yet. Yet these are the D-rings that you would attach to so that way you could pull the vehicle from the front. So these are, you know, pulling points and it comes on the, the modular bumper ready. I know if you don't have the modular bumper, let's say you have the other bumper, Rough Country makes the adapter or a plate or something like that that you can actually run D-rings on and that's a couple hundred bucks. So if you guys have that bumper, just look for that and then you can get these D-rings. This right here is something I did even on the Mustang which was immediately get a shorty antenna. This thing is I think from Tech, it's about $40 but it's made for the Bronco. It fits on there nice and tight, everything's good. It's very solid. I like that about it. I've actually like slammed my armpit into it and basically stabbed myself. So it's very stout. I thought I was for sure gonna break this thing. But generally you have this giant antenna sticking up and it just looks kind of funky on this. And this is just a nice shorty antenna. It actually kind of blends in and you forget about it, which I really like about it. Um, but I haven't noticed any radio reception difference because that's always a concern when you have a shorty antenna. But I just love how it kind of seamlessly goes away. The other cool thing is like, it's so dumb, but it has a slight angle on it. You wouldn't think the slight angle is something to brag about, but I don't know. It's just something that's different besides all the little shorty ones that have like the round top and stuff. I saw some for like 20 bucks, but I wanted to pay a little bit more just to get this one. Also, the other ones are like super short, which for sure is going to affect your like radio reception. So I got this one. This one looks like it's the right balance of length while sporty and also still maintaining your uh, radio reception. Today's video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. They make at-home health testing so easy. They also have a wide range of tests available from simple vitamin tests all the way to male and female hormone tests. Let's Get Checked's mission is to provide affordable, discreet, and professional health testing to all individuals. They do this blending modern technology with telehealth and medicine. The way the process works is that you'll be able to go to trylgc.com slash and from there, you'll be able to choose out of their dozens of tests available. Then you will receive it the next day. If it's in stock, you'll get it the next day. Then you submit your sample, you send that back out. And within just a few days, you'll have those results available. Now a nurse will actually call you with those results and they'll also be available online. This is a massive improvement because it makes it so that way it is now patient led whenever you order tests. So that way you can actually pick anything you want online that they have available do it all from the comfort of your home and get those results back with confidence that these are going to help you in the future so that way you can at least start a baseline or start to track your progress. Let's Get Checked is the future of medicine because let's be honest, who really wants to go to a doctor's office or a hospital 
Those things always give me the heebie-jeebies. I'd rather not. So to be able to do everything from my home, I think that's honestly the future of healthcare. Huge thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Let's just wrap up a little bit of the exterior stuff here. On the back side, I do have the OEM Ford Bucking Bronco. This is the gloss black one. So if you have a wild track, this is standard. But I bought this on Amazon. It was about 50 bucks. It took a long time for me to get it. It actually took like a month. But it looks like they're actually speeding up on that. So now they're coming in in a couple days. So there must be restocking on it. This sort of leads into the whole Stormtrooper look that I'm going to be pulling off with this vehicle. So I did the blacked out badge here. Now, of course, it would be great to have the matching like Ford badge here. So I could do that. And this one does have like an indention, you can tell. So if I peeled this off, it would still have probably prongs and, you know, an indention. However, if you do pull off of this badge, it's completely flat. So if you wanna go badgeless, you can do that as well. But I kept the Buck and Bronco because I really like it. And I don't know, it just feels right to have the Buck and Bronco there on the right side in gloss black. Now let's go ahead and pop open the rear trunk, which is one of the best things I ever bought. Like this is probably my favorite thing. And it took the most, I guess, pressure off of me. And it really just made me at ease, which is quality floor liners. You don't think that's a big deal until you go camping and have a hailstorm and get caught in the mud with but muddy boots. These cargo mats are made by Maxina, so I have them, again, linked down below for you guys. These things are well worth the $300 because I got the full, full set. So if you just want the floor mats, it's a lot cheaper. But what I did was I got the cargo mat, which does bend, so that way you can still lift up your, your cargo thing down below. Other cool thing is it has this middle piece, right? And it does the seat backs. So these Velcro on, to the seat backs because usually it's like a fuzzy cloth and when you fold down your seats and you put like a muddy bottom cooler or your tent or whatever else from camping and off-roading you put that on the back of the seats when you lay down the seats you, then you have crap all stuck into the fuzzy back of your seat which is really difficult to clean so this gives you peace of mind now that you can you know lay down the seats put a bunch of dirty stuff on there and just wipe it away of course i have them in the driver and passenger as well as the middle for the uh, rear passengers i have it all the way across so this is one big piece which you guys may not be able to see but it's all one big piece and everything is nice and laser cut and it also pops into the locks for where the the factory floor mats so this will just stay in place you don't have to worry about it even as a dead pedal cover. So all that's gonna get dirty would be your pedals, which you can see mine are kind of dirty now. But you can just wipe those down and spray them down with like, I don't know, a normal cleaner. Obviously nothing shiny, so that way it's not slick. But these things just pop right out, hose them off, and they're good to go. Really like the fact that these things have like a cool line and texture and things like that. They're not just flat and black. I also like that they have a lip. If you guys never had floor mats with a lip, it saves so much pressure if you like spill coffee or if you have muddy boots or whatever, you just leave it in there because you can just pull them out later. It's not gonna go on your carpet. This is such a dumb thing, but it actually just gives you peace of mind when you wanna drive your vehicle and enjoy it without ruining it. Went ahead and started her up and you can see here we have the touchscreen. So I did opt for the big old 12 inch touchscreen, which you guys are seeing here. It's got the CarPlay and all that stuff, right? Loading it in. I was kind of reading some horror stories on the forums and stuff of people who were off-roading. They went to deflate. Then they came back inside to click something on their dash or on their uh, screen. And then ended up scratching dirt that they didn't really feel on their hands right into their screen. And then it's screwed because then you have this big old expensive screen that just has a huge scratch in it. I wanted to get a nice screen protector. There's some plastic ones or I got the tempered glass. There's some out there for like 40 bucks, but for 15, I figured it was worth a shot. There were no reviews on this at all whenever I got it, but now you guys are seeing it. So if you guys want to buy the same one, it's 15 bucks on Amazon. Goes all the way to the edge, nice, clear, tempered glass. I did not want to do matte and then ruin the glossy setting. Sort of like an Apple product for me where Apple makes glossy laptop screens and I don't want to add the matte because then you lose like the depth of the color to me. I don't know. It's just something weird. So I want to keep it nice and glossy. I wanted to keep it protected. So that's why I opted for the tempered glass screen protector. But again, it's 15 bucks. I can always replace it. Maybe when I get my first scratch or as this thing starts to just wear out, wear out as I touch it so much. It's 15 bucks rather than, I don't even know how much this 12 inch screen really is. Another thing that we're totally jacking from the Jeep guys, and I totally jacked from the Jeep guys, but Maxina, the same company that makes the floor mats, they have a bunch of products in their store, so I was kind of just scoping that out. 
and I found they have paracord grab handles. So you guys are seeing these right here. These paracord grab handles, there's two screws on the driver and passenger side each. And on the rear, there's the front section where, or front version where you can do it right here, or you can actually mount it further back. I ought to do the front right here, as you can see. These things are nice and thick, and you can see I got them in what's called black and gray. To me, it looks more of the black and white, so that's why I got it to match the black and white. But I did it so that way all the black, you can see it's a little bit different, right? This is more white showing, this one's more black. Well, I made it so that way all of the blacks are on the bottom. So I was a little OCD about that as well, so it all matches across. The cool thing is it does not make a bunch of noise whenever it, it kind of swings in the wind or whatever with the windows down. And it's also very strong. I didn't see their rating on this, but I did find another company that has similar designed um, grab handles and it was at 350 pounds. Again, whenever you're hopping in or if you're just gonna grab something off the roof, you're not truly pulling with all, all of your weight. You're just kind of helping yourself up and giving you a stability point, right? So I'm not like free dead weighting myself and like hanging off of this. I'm stepping still on a step, right? And then still pulling myself up. And to be honest, I actually used them as anchor points recently this weekend because I don't have my roof rack yet and I went paddle boarding. So I had paddle boards on my roof just set on here. I ran a ratchet strap from the grab handles across to the other grab handle. So that's where I put the two hooks. I'll have a photo up right here probably, but I actually put it on these grab handles and used them as anchor points and it worked perfectly. And I went 70 miles an hour for like 30 minutes down the freeway, got to the lake, no big deal. No, no like rubbing or scratching on my roof. That's why I got the molded in color baby. So that way we can do that. So the grab handles not only help you with that, but it also gives you a little anchor point obviously rolling down your windows a little bit to give you that room, but it gives you an anchor point to put stuff on your roof if you really had to. All right, and lastly, this one's like a bonus one if you do have dogs, but I did get the dog taco is what my girlfriend and I call it. So let me show you our dog taco. What you're gonna see here is this material, which is all strapped to the headrest of the vehicle. And this is a very simple install, right? Four buckles, one on each headrest. We did get the XL version and this is $40 but this has all over, all over it. So going to the lake, we just threw them in here. When he was wet, had sand all over him. All I did was take it out and shake it. I have not cleaned this at all since we've had it. And that's literally, we take all of our freaking everywhere. And we wanted this so that way in case he was muddy, just like we go hiking or camping, we can just toss his little butt in here and not worry about our nice roasted seats. That you can see our seats are perfect nothing wrong with them there but on the top is covered with crap this is the beauty of spending forty dollars for a dog taco where you can just throw your dog in here and just so you know this is the xl version and what we do to kind of stop the flapping with the windows down is just tuck in the bottom of the seat like that and yeah it works perfectly this is waterproof it also is strong enough to where he stands there and it's like a hammock and suspended and he does not jump to the front. So those are just some of the Amazon mods that I've already picked up for the Bronco. I've got my eye on a few more. So leave a comment down below if these are helpful for you guys. And if you're interested in me kind of buying my own Amazon mods and doing a little bit more reviewing for you guys. So that way it's different than just the Amazon reviews. You're actually gonna see it in person in a video, well, in person through video on YouTube. Again, I bought all of these things with my own money. So this is my honest opinion on them. And I would have every single one of them and buy them over again. I can't wait to start picking up more and more mods for this thing. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is the roof rack, getting a rooftop tent, the lift, the wheels, the tires, the winch, the lighting. This thing's gonna be absolutely sick whenever we're done with it or if we're ever actually done with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please comment, like, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.